okay let us discuss this problem so this is something related to again solubility so we say its solubility can be basically changed or it can be increased it can be decreased if i add common ion if i add some complex forming ion if i add some h plus or if i add some oh minus so these are the ways to change the solubility either i can increase or i can decrease so one way to change the solubility is ph if i control the h plus concentration i can have a different different solubility this means and controlling the ph can be basically done by buffer solution so solubility can be controlled with a different ph of buffer so if i have a buffer of ph 1 i will have a solubility 1 if i have a buffer of ph 2 solubility will be s2 so let us do this question this is again something related to solubility so question says the solubility of agcn in buffer solution calculate the solubility of agcn so once again we have to calculate the solubility of agcn in a buffer solution and buffer has a ph of 3 buffer basically contains a constant ph so ph is 3 this means h plus is 10 to the power minus 3 so i have a buffer of ph 3 so we have a buffer are getting now this says ksp of agcn is also given so ksp for agcn is given to you that is 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 16 and k for hcn is k for hcn is given to you this is a b case it basically 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 10 now let's try to understand what we will do agcn is basically solid and once you put into the solution what will happen so this will basically dissociate and it will give you ag plus aqueous and plus cn minus aqueous so we will get ag plus and cl minus aqueous and the equilibrium constant will be ksp now once this cn minus will come into the solution this cn minus is basically going to react with h plus because solution contains h plus ag h plus so you see what we are doing i am adding agcn in a solution that contains buffer that contains h plus so cn minus h soon as it is formed it will start reacting with h plus and it will form hcn and equilibrium constant for this reaction is reverse of k that is 1 by k everybody knows if you have copied this one then i can go further now let us set a reaction table please set the reaction table for this reaction in terms of x by let me wait for some time so if i set a reaction table i will have x this is x this is again x and concentration of h plus is 10 to the power minus 3 and that remains constant so i am not going to change the concentration of h plus so by of this reacts and by of hcn form hcn will be x minus y basically i should to write 10 to the power minus 3 minus y but in a buffer h plus concentration remains constant this means 10 to the power so if i use y mole of h plus buffer is such that it will produce y mole of h plus so concentration of h plus remains constant this is a cap uh, buffer capacity this is a buffer area of buffer that contains a, that remains a minimum a uh, constant ph that contains a max uh, constant ph so i can have equation first equation x into x minus y this is equals to ksp and the second equation we can set that is y divided by x minus y into 10 to the power minus 3 this is equals to 1 by ka so this is two equation and now things is i have to solve this two equation <coughs> what i can do is if i multiply these two equation i will have x by is equals to 10 to the power minus 3 divided by is equals to ksp by ka are you getting so you will have x by is equals to so from here i can write x by is equals to 10 to the power minus 3 ksp by k
So now if I plug the value of x by an equation 1, I can get, so this is ksp, so let us calculate this value, 10 to the power minus 3, and ksp is given to you, this is 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 16, and this divided by, this divided by ka, and what is the value of k? k you have, we have said earlier, 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 10, so this is 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 10. So what is this value? 10 to the power minus 10, so 10 to the power minus 6 into 10 to the power minus 3, so 10 to the power minus 9. So I will have 1 by 4 into 10 to the power minus 9. Are you getting? So value of x y will be 0.25 into 10 to the power minus 9. So this is my equation 1, x value of x y. Now if I plug the value of x y in equation 1, I can solve for x or y. So let us see this one. So equation 1 we have, I think we have copied this one, x y is equals to uh, x into x minus y. So equation 1 is x into x minus y. This is equals to ksp and ksp is 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 16. So I can write x square minus x y is equals to 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 16 and x y is 10 to the power minus 9 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 10 so x square is equals to x y is 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 10 I can write this is equals to 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 16 I can again do one approximation x square is equals to 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 10 plus 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 16 this is 10 to the power minus 16, this is 10 to the power minus 10, so I can neglect this term. So with respect to this, I can neglect this term. So x is simply root over 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 10. Are you getting? So I have to take the root of 2.5. So let us take the root of 2.5. So I think uh, you are able to see this one. So root of 2.5 and this comes out to be 1.58 so this is 1.5 this is 10 to the power minus 5 1.58 into 10 to the power minus 5 so this is the value of x are you getting now what is the value of y so you can solve for so basically I need x what is the solubility solubility is the concentration of Ag plus and Ag plus is x you see in your notebook, you will see the table, so let me show you. So here you have concentration of Ag plus is x. So whatever Ag plus is coming, that is coming only due to AgCN. So Ag plus will basically uh, control the solubility. So concentration of Ag plus will give you the solubility. So solubility for this reaction is, we will have x and x is 1.58 into 10 to the power minus 5. So solubility is 1.58 into 10 to the power minus 5. So this is the solubility. <coughs> if somebody wants, he can basically calculate by. So let us calculate by. So <coughs> you see x into by is 0 0.25 into 10 to the power minus 9. You see your copy, you will find the same thing. 0 0.25 into 10 to the power minus 9. So this is x into by. So if the if I plug the value of x. So what is the value of y? So 0 0.25 into 10 to the power minus 9 divided by x. And what is x? x is this. 1.58 into 10 to the power minus 5. So this is basically 10 to the power minus 4 and 0.25 divided by 1.58. So I will have 0.25 divided by 1.58. That is the answer. So we will have 0.158. Let me check again. 0.25 divided by 1.58. 0.25 divided by 1.58. So this comes out to be 0.158. So this is 0.158. So you see the y value is very small. Y is 1.58 10 to the power minus 5. So this is f x is approximately equal to y. In this case, 
approximately so f x is approximately equals to y you see x and y are coming both equal basically i have not taken the all decimal places otherwise i would have said x is approximately equals to y not exactly equals to y you getting so this means this gives me another idea to solve the same problem so let us try to see what the what this means if i i have x is approximately equals to y this gives me a good way to solve the same problem using another logic so let me say i have this question here uh, let us say here i have so x is approximately equals to y so this means c n minus is approximately equals to 0 in solution the total cl minus approximately equals to zero so this cl minus that is comes it reacts with h plus so what i can do is this two equation can be basically added because cl minus that is formed from the equation one can be reacted in equation two because cl minus is approximately equals to zero are you getting so what we can do is so let us try to see ag c and we will have ag plus plus cl minus and the another reaction you have cn minus plus h plus this gives you hcn now what i am saying is i am saying the cn minus that is formed from a step 1 is reacted from a step 2 that is the x minus by 0 this means cn minus in the solution is approximately equals to not exactly equals to 0 if exactly equals to 0 in that case i how i can maintain this equilibrium i cannot maintain this equilibrium i have to have some cn minus and that cn minus is very small that's why this cn minus and this uh, so basically i can cancel this cn minus i can add these two equations what is the assumption when we are adding two equations assumption is the cn minus coming from this step should be used in this step so i can add these two equation for this equilibrium constant is ksp for this equilibrium constant is ka so i can simply write ag cn plus h plus this will give you ag plus plus h cn and now equilibrium constant is ksp by k are getting equilibrium constant will be multiplied this is solid h plus is 10 to the power minus 3 now using this so agcn react with h plus this gives ag plus and this gives ag plus uh, hcn so x reacts so i will have x mole of ag plus x mole of hcn so i can simply write x square divided by 10 to the power minus 3 is equals to ksp by ka and we have already solved the ksp by k value is so let me see uh, whether i have the ksp by k value so this ksp by k value comes out to be so this value so x square is equals to 10 to the power minus 3 ksp by k this is the value i am are you getting or not now see if you check your copy you will find the same thing we have written for this x by is equals to 10 to the power minus 3 into ksp by k and for this the if i solve this equation this comes out to be 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 9 so for this the value is 0.25 into 10 to the power minus 9 are you getting now if i take the root Uh, basically if I, i want x so what we will do is so x square is this 0.25 into 10 to the power minus 9 so x will be root over this and that will come out so root over this 0.25 into 10 to the power minus 9 and we have already taken this root and this comes out to 1.58 into 10 to the power minus 5 so this is 1.58 into 10 to the power minus 5 so you see you are getting the same solubility this means there are two method of do doing the same problem one method is that is a basically exact method you write reaction table in terms of x and y and solve for x and y another method is you write these two equations separately and you assume the cn minus that is coming the first step reacts completely in the second step and this can be seen easily because one by k why this this can be said because k is 10 to the power minus 10 so 1 by k is approximately equals to 10 to the power 10 so if this reaction has a equilibrium constant is very high so this means this reaction will be complete so if this reaction goes to completion this means whatever the cn minus is coming 
will be reacted in the second step. And the assumption is very valid. That the Cn minus will go to the this reaction. So I can add these two reactions without doing any calculation because the equilibrium constant for this reaction is very high. This means this reaction will go towards the right side. So assumption is in this case reaction goes towards right side. So Cn minus that is coming from the first state will react completely. So I will add the two equations. So this kind of problem can be done by two ways. One way is you write down the reaction table solve for x and y. Another way, you just write two equations, add these two equations and you get the net equation. So this is your net overall equation. And now set a reaction table in overall equation. In this case, H plus is constant. So there is no point of uh, basically subtracting X here. Even if you subtract X, the same as X that will be produced again by the buffer. Buffer can basically create some H plus. So concentration of H plus will remain constant. So there is no point of subtracting x here. So you will have this x square by this is equal to equilibrium constant. From here you can solve for x. So this is the easier way. So I will say you master both method. You do some problems by reaction table. Do some problems by adding the two equations. And later when you have used the fast method, you try to follow this method because this method is a shorter method. But the but in this equation how this method is we are getting can be only verified if I know why x minus y is approximately equal to somebody can set a problem in which c n minus that is produced from the first step is not reacted in the second step completely I can change the equilibrium constant so in that case you cannot use this method in that case you have to use the first method only so you know both method is important we will go for the next problem I think we have copied this one